Hey, I'm Nick from the Crew Brothers. We got a lot of fun surprises coming up in the next couple of months. Thanks for being along with us for the ride. It's time to dive into the pickle gauntlet. Today we're going to be doing the pickle gauntlet where we'll be going through a whole slew of pickled items. Some tasty, some gross. <laughs> and also some spicy, of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, oh, gosh, along the way we have some pig's feet and uh, pickle flavored candy canes. Uh, pickled eggs. Even. Pickled eggs, yeah. Uh, and at the end, of course, we're going to do... Uh, Mikey V's spicy reaper pickles, which have Carolina Reaper, habaneros, and ghost peppers in them, so in the sauce. So that would be fun to try. And to cleanse our palate along the way, we'll be drinking some pickle juice. Yeah. Pickle juice in between the pickled items. <laughs> and we've got our plates, we've got forks and knives, we got shot glasses for our upcoming kraut shots we'll be doing. Yeah, I always love doing these gauntlet videos. Uh, it's just a great excuse to order all kinds of things that you never normally would, try interesting foods. Yeah. <laughs> um, some of the gauntlets we've had in the past that were a lot of fun, bacon gauntlet, uh, zombie gauntlet, all kinds of zombie related items. Uh, what was your favorite one that we've done? Oh, I'd say probably the zombie gauntlet, yeah. Yeah, that one was fun. So yeah. many unique foods. And we had uh, we had mom in that intro. So if you're ever wondering <laughs> <laughs> where the scream was coming from, it was her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was that was a fun one to film the intro. That was that was uh, <laughs> we were trying for the George Romero uh, <laughs> homage. <laughs> so I decided to get this one over with the crowd shots. So we got our, our shot glasses. Here's the Kraut Shots Probiotic Power Brine from the Pickled Planet. All the benefits of Kraut in a tonic. All right. And it's just, you can see stuff floating in yeah. it. Oh. It is definitely fermented, wonderful fermented food. This one I actually had in the fridge and just on coincidence, because I'm, I'm into health. <laughs> You can tell from the way we eat oh, it. Oh, it smells. Oh, yeah. Take a good whiff. Oh, <laughs> look at that. It's strong. It old. Looks like sewer water. But yeah, good probiotic for you. Hmm? You're going to sip it or you're going to slam it? Slam it. Oh, here we go. All right. Mm. <coughs> it's actually not that bad. No, it's not. I, I, like, I like it. It's very strong. Mm -hmm. It's good for the immune system, so. Mm -hmm. The old I, <coughs> I boost. <laughs> Pick a product, dog. All right, so Old South Sweet Pickled Watermelon Rind. Ooh, oh, okay. Oh. There we go. You can see it's that. Like, it's like gel. Yeah, it looks like a, what does that remind me of? Yeah, like almost like a, I don't know. It's like something out of a Ghostbusters <sighs> film. Yeah. Some, some uh, uh, yeah. Some, some slime off the ghost. <laughs> oh. It's sweet. Yeah, very sweet. Wow. Mm. A little harsh. And the second ingredient is corn syrup. Mm. Oh. You gotta have a second cube though, it says. Mm. Serving size is two cubes. Mm -hmm. You want a second cube? <laughs> Tastes like, um, I don't know how to describe it. Some, not sweet barbecue, but something, you get that um, nostalgic taste, right? Yeah, and I, I don't really, mm -hmm. I don't think it tastes like watermelon. No, not at all. What it reminds me of is those canned pears in syrup. Okay, we need to cleanse the palate. Pickle juice. Stop muscle cramps. So what is pickle juice? So the whole point of pickle juice is it's supposed to it's 
supposed to replenish your body of what it loses when you sweat, when you're working out. Um, and it does taste like the actual juice if you drink it right out of the bottom of a pickle jar. Yeah. When you sweat, you lose water, but you're also losing sodium, potassium, and glucose. So that's why, hence why things like Gatorade exist. So this is kind of like Gatorade without the sugar. So we actually we actually buy this for, for post-workout. Yeah. For our heavy workouts. <laughs> Brutalizer. <laughs> you know, when you do that 10-hour workout <laughs> once a year. <laughs> no, it's also why you see marathon runners at the end of a marathon. I always wondered why this was, but this is also the same thing. They'll have a, a bowl of uh, salt cubes. Yeah. So that you can, because you just drink water, you're not replenishing your, your pH levels. Also football players, um, one quick tidbit about pickles. The average American eats about eight and a half pounds of pickles every year. And we're doing that much tonight. So now we're gonna be doing pickled walnuts. <laughs> pickled walnuts, <laughs> that, was, well, that was a surprising one when we came across that. It's like, Ooh, the container, it's black. You know it's a good jar. Ooh, it is black. When you hear that sound, it's a good jar opening. So it's very liquidy. It's 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 pure black on the inside. I don't yeah. Know if you can see that. Oh yeah, you can kind of there. Okay. Ooh, it smells bad too. Oh, that's the worst out of. It smells like some foul balsamic vinegar. Yeah, yeah, exactly like that. A little bit, almost like opening up a paint container. I guess I'll take this. Oh, wow. <laughs> I hope you like it. Oh. <laughs> I feel for you. I, the size of that. It's awful. It is so bad. Oh. Mmm. Wow. Ugh. Yeah, how does that rank compared to the fermented cod liver? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I thought they would be better than that. What are they thinking with this? Oh, it's almost worse than the. What is the appeal? Chocolate cod liver oil. Oh, uh, I dry gagged or not dry. <laughs> no, I gagged a couple times. <laughs> I I almost did too, and I only had half of one. Wow, that is. Ghastly. Oh. Family business since 1880. Who is buying these? <laughs> My muscles are still twitching from that. <laughs> you, know, you know what's bad? The Reaper probably didn't make your muscles twitch. No. All right. Uh, Nick's next pick. Pickle Brussels sprouts. Just as I thought. Tastes better than regular. So now we're doing pickled mushrooms. Mmm. Best item we've had in here so far. I don't like them as much as like normally with mushrooms. Mm -hmm. I love mushrooms on steak. Now we're up to a jar of pickled cauliflower. Sweet hurry curry. So it's not just pickled cauliflower. It is flavored pickled cauliflower. It has curry smell. Oh, I thought you were going to eat it. I, I thought you were going to I'm going to snort it instead. <laughs> <laughs> you like the curry smell? Yeah. Do, do you like curry normally? Mm, it's all right. Yeah, I, I like it. I haven't had I haven't had enough of it. I, I definitely not experienced it. There's good curry in London. Yeah, when we were in London, that was, that was a good curry. Okay. The pickle curry combination is a little bizarre. Yeah. Um... Got a bit of spice. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Um, that rhymes. <laughs> a bit of spice is always nice. <laughs> yeah, that I, I, I like that. Um, yeah, it would be different for parties to have out. All right, here's one that I don't, I don't know if Nick is gonna like that I also had for health in the fridge. Pickled planet dilly beans. You can taste that probiotic. Very harsh. You say it's um 
required. I mean, it is acquired, but it's good. Oh, okay. Well, good. How well does drinking pickle juice cleanse the palate when you're eating a bunch of pickle items? Not very well. Okay, we had another one from Pernicious Pickling Company. Pickled red onions. Reminds me of like grilled onions. Yeah. On a burger. Yeah, very much so. They look like them. I don't know. <coughs> it's weird. A little too much of the sweet. Yeah. Ugh. It was listed as sweet and sour. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not a grand fan of that no. one. Christopher Ranch, California grown pickled garlic. Mmm. Very good. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, those are excellent. I'll be finishing that jar for sure. Another quick, interesting tidbit about pickles is dill pickles are twice as popular as sweet pickles. That's not surprising. And we're so much in the pickle spirit today. We even have pickle bandages for our boo boos. Gone. <laughs> Reclining on a nearby plate, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich heard the alarm and leaped up. Everyone knows that a peanut butter and jelly sandwich is not the fastest sandwich in the world, but it does have great endurance. The sandwich chugged after the pickle. Stop that pickle! It shouted. Alright, next item. Spicy dough flavored pork rinds. Southern recipe small bag. <laughs> Big one. Me too. Mmm. I love pork rinds. So do I. Great paleo snack. Pretty much zero carbs. Mm -hmm. And high in protein. But it is incomplete protein. <laughs> <laughs> I like that with the dill pickle flavor. Yeah. It reminds me of uh, like gas station dill pickle, uh, dill pickle potato chips. Oh yeah. Yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. How does it feel to live with the king of cringe? <laughs> Pickled plums, sweet dried plums from Japan. It is in date, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's still till December. <laughs> it's all in Japanese. Interesting, like, okay. It's not very pickled. It's not very good. I like plum, but pickle, mmm. That's weird. That is very weird. Ugh, I can't place that taste. I don't like that. I'm not gonna eat any more of those. Yeah, same here. I'd say the eggs, the eggs, the eggs, the eggs. Okay. How many pickle eggs you want? I got a big drum. So, you like them? Yeah. Your mouth is full? Another interesting one. Pickled ice pops. Like a push pop. <laughs> Bright neon green. All right, pickle ice. Ooh, very pickled. Mmm, salty. Yeah, extremely salty. It's good though. Yeah. Just frozen pickle juice. <laughs> Oh, it made me sneeze. Hmm? <coughs> <coughs> ah. <laughs> ah. Refreshing. <laughs> it's good. I like it a lot. Be excellent if you, after a long run or hike or something. Yeah. Pickled cockles. What pray tell are pickled cockles? Hmm? So cockles are basically an edible marine bivalve mollusk. Okay. I think I said that right. <laughs> a bivalve mollusk. I have not had these. Okay. Actually not bad. A little, a little too fishy for me. It really does feel like you're just biting right into the side of a barnacle covered pier. It's good. <laughs> mm. 
has a good, unique, uh, I guess, smoky, not smoky taste, but. Yanking a fish right out of someone's hands, taking it right off the hook and. <laughs> <laughs> <You know. laughs> yeah, you know, they talk about fishy taste when they're talking about seafood. That's, yeah, it's too much on the other side for me. But you like them a lot, though, hey? Yeah. All right, so we're going to do sliced pickled gherkins organic. Gurkha in lodge D. <laughs> I N L A G D. Gherkins are the immature fruit of cucumber. Mm -hmm. Yes. That too. Oh, and very sweet. Chewy. Yeah, very sweet, no crunch at all. It's good though. Interesting. Very soft. Mm -hmm. Pickle juice. Pickle juice. We had enough salt in this one. We had a salty gauntlet, salt gauntlet once. Mm -hmm. This would rival the salt gauntlet because these are salt loaded, every single one of these. As the pickle and the peanut butter and jelly sandwich passed a bake shop, a fat braided pretzel climbed down from the counter and stumbled into the street. It ran a few steps behind the peanut butter sandwich, scattering sesame seeds as it went. Stop that pickle, cried the pretzel. All right, so now are we doing the some pork hocks. <laughs> and a pork hock is basically the joint between the tibia and the metatarsals in the foot of the pig. Another one that I'm hoping is gonna taste better than it looks, as if you can see, it looks like a big jar of pink raw meat. Hmm. <laughs> I knew it was gonna taste good. It tastes much better than it looks. Mm -hmm. Wow. That is excellent, it is very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wonderful cured and pickled taste. Mm -hmm. um, really big slab of, of fat in there. But they're not as big, I mean the pieces from the side look like they're enormous. Mm -hmm. I'll get a bigger one. And you can see the Fat dangling. <laughs> got a big one right here. That's got a big piece of fat on it. Yeah. All right, mm -hmm. let's see what that is. Fat is very chewy. Good? Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, this is like. Big, thick cut bacon mm -hmm. and pickled, mm -hmm. but not crispy. Yeah, mm -hmm. that is surprisingly wonderful. It looks you almost can't look at it mm -hmm. when you're eating it. <laughs> but yeah, certain foods it's, it's very interesting. It's kind of like Limburger cheese, how you absolutely do not want to smell it. You're yeah. you're absolutely better off eating it like mm -hmm. this because it smells like an armpit, but it tastes wonderful. That's the way, like when you look into this, it's like, oh, you look in and you're just like, no way. <laughs> That's how the pig's feet that is coming up also looks. It looks even worse. All right, so now are we doing Archie McPhee's pickle candy. Candy shop style. I thought it was gonna look like gum, like a piece of gum. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not big on candy. This one doesn't have any pickle flavor. It would be better if it had a kind of a Mm -hmm. Pick a punch. Yeah. Doesn't. I can't even place the flavor. I don't know what I would even call it. Mm. I love flavor nothing. <laughs> so if you like things that don't have much of a flavor, this is this is your product. All right, now we're up to the one that I'm uh, dreading a bit because it, it looks so nasty in the container. <laughs> Fake sweet. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a close up on that. It's hard to see. It looks like if you've looked down into like a clogged drain that had, <laughs> let me make this as appealing as possible oh. before we actually eat it. So you're looking down into like a clogged drain that kind of like backed up after a party. <laughs> uh. At a mortuary. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, there's mine. Oh, that looks, that is terrible. Oh. It's hard to pick up. That one piece seemed like it had a bone. Oh, it's the texture. It's like raw chicken. Yeah. Oh, you wanna go first on this one? Sure. One, two, three. There's bones. Is there, okay. Not bad though. No? Oh, I, oh, I just, oh. it's so slimy. Try be doing five bones. I'm 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 trying to work up to it. I just oh, look at that thing. The pork hocks are better, but these are pretty good. Really? Mm -hmm. Does it have a cured, nice cured taste? It's a very uh, vinegary taste. It just it looks like it has hair on it. You see that? Yeah. I wonder if those are. I don't know. It looks like it literally has hair. Oh my gosh. Oh. 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 Think wow. I think I have another one. Oh. I'm glad you liked it. Oh. Too late. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Pig's feet? No. No. Um, I'm sure someone likes it, but. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'll give it a thumbs up. I don't want it. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. Now, the Vlasic Bold and Spicy Tabasco Kosher Dill Spears. One thing about Tabasco, part of why I love it is from my childhood and being one of the first hot sauces I ever had. But now, after all these years yeah. of us having hot sauces, it certainly is more of a nostalgic hot sauce mm -hmm. than one of my favorites anymore because yeah. the heat is achieved by tons of vinegar and harshness and not actual Scoville. The Scoville on Tabasco is actually pretty low. Mm -hmm. um, they remind me of like barbecues. You know, Again, like, yeah. yeah, like family barbecues. All right, so now we've got the fancy pickle candy cane. So, any thoughts on this? It's good. Yeah, for me, I don't like candy canes to begin with, and I definitely don't like this. Okay, so we're down to the final two, and they're both real spicy ones, and we're gonna go with the one that's certainly it's. I'm sure it's the least spicy of the two. Famous Dave's. Devil Spit Pickle Chips. Now we've had, we have both had the Devil Spit Hot Sauce, or, or barbecue, or that's not hot sauce, barbecue sauce, right? Yeah. The Devil Spit Barbecue Sauce at, oh, at Famous Dave's. I love Famous Dave's. Do you like Devil Spit Sauce? Oh yeah. Again, the whole barbecue taste to it. Bring back memories. Spicier than I thought it would. Maybe. Yeah. Huh. It's got on the on the counter um, on the cover for adults only. Mm -hmm. You're in trouble now. <laughs> it is very hot. Yeah, it is very hot. Uh, yeah. So heat level. What would you say is in the, like the regular? If you compare it to our other videos, uh, I would say I would give it a four out of ten. Yeah. 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 I'd give it a good four or five to the final. The one that's supposed to be super, super hot. This is Mikey V's Spicy Reaper Pickles. Very hot. Very hot. Mmm. Mmm. Which is emanating in my mouth. Yeah. I had the hiccups. Ugh. <laughs> Ooh, a little watery. It's probably a good idea you only took half. <laughs> watery eyes. Those are the hottest pickles for sure. I haven't had a lot yeah. of spicy pickles though. Woo! <laughs> my face is all lit up. Yeah, same here. Sweating <laughs> from it. <laughs> I'm gonna eat the other, the other half of my pickle piece. Oh, 
Tongue's gone a little bit numb from it. That's a freak train pickle. Yeah. Oh, Woo. um, <laughs> when you go up to a certain level on the Scoville scale, it just, it's always interesting to eat something on the level. It's almost like the heat it's it's like menacing it's like you know what i mean like it has that yeah like you know when you're having something that's more than million scoville it just has that mm, like the yeah <clears throat> like oh yeah that's heat it's different like extract taste yeah the metallic yeah. stuff it's got a little of that um i have to wonder if they sometime on spicy things they'll amp it up a little bit by adding extract this tastes like they did it's um don't know if they did but it has a little of the extra not as tasty um i mean what do you what do you think of the overall taste um it's good for pickle it's very good yeah yeah it does have a good taste if you're a chili head um these will definitely light you up and you you'd certainly probably enjoy them um Got that slight edge of a little, I don't know, a little too harsh um, on the on the spice end, but and you couldn't, you know, yeah. I can't imagine sitting down and eating like I had what a, that was like the equivalent of like a third of a pickle. Yeah, that's about what the slices are. Mm. The, the, these are better than the uh, Devil's Spit and the Tabasco pickles. Yeah, yeah, I like them better than those. Uh, but I could not see sitting down. And actually just eating a bunch of these, like watching a football game. Did you? No. no. So, Mikey V's Spicy Reaper Pickles. One chunk's enough, would you say, or you want some more? <laughs> One chunk's enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know it's hot. One chunk's enough for the Crude Brothers. <laughs> All right. So that was the Pickle Gauntlet. Pickled Gauntlet. <laughs> Had a lot of fun. That, that, a lot of good items. What was your favorite? I'd say my favorite was... Hmm, one of them was the Pickled Garlic. I was just going to say that too. Yeah, the pickled garlic was excellent. The pork hocks were, were amazing. That that was one of my favorites. And um, these are very good. Yeah. Though, you know, a little too hot to enjoy on a regular basis. But uh, Brussels sprouts were, were better than I thought. Yeah, and then the worst item? The walnuts, obviously. Yeah, the walnuts <laughs> were the worst for me too. Oh, uh, the pig's feet. Pig's feet and the, and the walnuts were... Really? The pig's feet were pretty good for me. Wow, the texture. <laughs> Like eating raw chicken, just with stuff dripping off of it. Ugh. <laughs> All right, thanks again for watching. As Nick said in the intro, we've got a couple fun surprises coming out in the next month to two months. A few videos that we made with some big YouTube channels um, that were a lot of fun to film. A couple of them are pretty epic. So we hope you'll enjoy it, and uh, we love you, and see you guys later.